Hey everybody, Pastor Steven Anderson here from Faithful Word Baptist Church in Tempe, Arizona. And I just wanted to make a quick video to give you some thoughts on Alex Jones and InfoWars. Now, back in 2008 and 2009, I used to do a lot of driving for my job. And so, you know, you're just going down the road for hours and hours and hours. And so I would listen to, you know, Alex Jones live quite a bit on those drives just because I was bored. You know, I'd already listened to the Bible on CD. I'd listened to preaching. I'd listened to other shows, just tons of time to listen to stuff. So, you know, I definitely ended up listening to the Alex Jones show back in those days. And I watched his films, um, you know, the Obama deception and game stuff like that. And I liked that stuff. I thought it was pretty good at the time. And uh, a little bit later on, in 2012, when we came out with our film After the Tribulation, you know, Alex Jones ended up picking it up and selling it on his InfoWars website starting in early 2013, and he sold it until just recently. He also sold uh, the Book of Revelation series we put out, and for a very short time, he also even sold our film New World Order Bible Versions. Um, but here's the thing, you know, I, I just... I have to just come out and say it that, you know, I don't support Alex Jones or InfoWars at all. And in fact, at this point, I think that Alex Jones is just a total idiot and that InfoWars.com is pretty much a, a worthless website at this time. You know, back when I used to listen to it in 2008 and 2009, you know, the show was actually exposing the false left-right paradigm and exposing the fact that Republicans and Democrats were the same. And, you know, they were telling the truth about a lot of things. And I found it to be a pretty entertaining show. And, you know, I agreed with a lot of what they were saying. But now InfoWars has completely changed. I can't even understand how anybody who used to support them can still support them. Because they've just completely changed. And now everything they say is contrary to what they've always said in the past and what they've always believed in the past. Okay. Now, the video that just really just pushed me over the edge just to show me that InfoWars is just completely worthless, because I hadn't, I hadn't listened to the show in many years and hadn't really been following the website or anything, but I saw a video where they, they took clips from Alex talking about Sarah Palin back in 2010, you know, when he was actually telling the truth, and then they took clips of him talking about Palin in 2015... And he was saying the exact opposite of everything that he was saying back in 2010. Back in 2010, he's ripping on Sarah Palin. She's a neocon and blah, blah, blah. In 2015, he just sounds like a brain dead Republican. I mean, look, you might as well be listening to Sean Hannity now if you listen to Alex Jones. You might as well be listening to Glenn Beck or Rush Limbaugh or something. You know, and if you go to Infowars.com, it's basically just like a Trump campaign site. I mean, that's all it is anymore for months now. Anytime I would just check in, just like I would just guess, like, watch, it's all going to be about Trump. And it's just like every story is just Trump, 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 Trump. It's just a campaign side for Trump. So instead of exposing the false left-right paradigm, instead of exposing the fact that the Republicans are a fraud, as well as the Democrats being a fraud, no, no, no. Now it's just pro-Republican, just you know, anti-Islam. And look, I'm against Islam as a wicked religion, but I'm talking about that's all they talk about now is just being against Islam because that's what their Republican neocon warmonger audience now wants to hear, apparently, you know, now that they're all a bunch of Trump fans and whatever. Okay, that is not what Alex or Infowars used to ever stand for. Okay. I mean, think about it. Alex always promoted Ron Paul, like in 2008, 2012. He's promoting Ron Paul as a candidate. Well, you know, Ron Paul is nothing like Donald Trump. And, you know, ask Ron Paul what he thinks about Donald Trump. And, you know, Ron Paul stands against Donald Trump because Ron Paul is actually a libertarian, a pro-life libertarian, whereas Donald Trump, on the other hand, is just a big government bully and a blowhard and a loudmouth and probably the most prideful, arrogant person to ever walk on the face of the earth. And he's definitely not libertarian at all. Definitely not Christian at all. Definitely not anything that Alex would have supported five years ago. 
You know, this, this is just, I, I just can't even understand how any of his staff could just continue to go along with him as he just becomes a conservative Republican talk radio host a la Sean Hannity when he, in the past, was always like an alternative media, okay? But not only that, you know, this week he actually came out and specifically attacked me by name and one of his co-hosts, David Knight, was with Rob Dew, and they made this video attacking me by name. And basically what they said was that Jesus would have hung out at that gay bar. Like, that's the type of place that Jesus would have hung out at. And this David Knight on InfoWars said, you know, I can't understand how anybody, you know, would think. And he said, I'm getting all these Christians contacting me and, and saying that Jesus would have not been at that. Of course he would have been at that gay bar. That's the kind of places he hung out when he was on this. Earth. You know, and he's quoting some screwed up Bible version that's not the King James Version. He's quoting the NIV. He's twisting scripture. And, you know, basically everything out of uh, this other, this uh, Paul Joseph Watson, okay, which is like the the, the second in command to uh, Alex Jones. You know, I had been following him on Twitter and on Facebook, and I had to delete him from everything because the guy's like a broken record. He's so boring. Everything is just about Islam and pro-Trump and, and pro-homosexual. I mean, literally, like, everything that this Paul Joseph Watson is saying is just now it's just pro-homosexual and just, you know, pro-Trump and anti-Islam. It's like, that's all he can talk about. It's so boring and lame. And, you know, they're calling what the Bible says about homosexuality in Leviticus 2013. They're calling it Sharia law. And they made a video about me called, you know, Christian pastor supports Sharia law. Why don't they call it Christian pastor supports Mosaic law? Why don't they call it Christian pastor supports Old Testament law or Bible law? But no, 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 it's, it's Sharia law. And everything's just poor, poor homosexual this and poor homosexual that. And the whole thing is just a joke. So I just want to make it real clear. People think that I'm some kind of an Alex Jones supporter or an InfoWars supporter just because I had gone as a guest on his show a whole bunch of times in the past. I've been on the show actually six times, four times on the radio show and two times on the TV show, okay? And because he sold our movies in the past, that that somehow makes me an Alex Jones supporter. And look, I'll admit it, when I, in 2008 and 2009, I liked Alex Jones and I liked the Obama deception movie. And, you know, I enjoyed listening to the show on the road from time to time but but honestly I don't support them at all anymore but it's because they have completely changed into something completely other than what they were back in those days and so and by the way just because I go on a, a radio show or a TV show that doesn't mean that I endorse it I mean this coming Wednesday I'm going to go on Telemundo Arizona and and you know some Spanish TV show it doesn't mean that I support that show I'm I just preach the word of God wherever I'm given a platform. You know, if I'm invited to preach the word of God on, you know, a radio show or a TV show, you know, I'll go on there and preach the word of God as long as it's no holds barred. I mean, if they tried to censor me and tell me what I can't say, then I would decline. But as long as I'm allowed to say whatever I want, then I, I go on various radio shows and TV shows if I'm invited, you know, why not preach the word of God from the housetops if I'm given the opportunity? It doesn't mean that I support that program okay i mean good night have you seen those irish radio interviews i've done where they it's these horrible atheists and and just you know filthy dreamers that you know that run these radio shows but i go on there because i want people in ireland to hear about my preaching so that they can hear the gospel and be saved because it's it's a very dark place spiritually so anyway just wanted to give those thoughts on Alex Jones and interview and Infowars and just make it real clear where I stand that I stand against Infowars. I stand against Alex Jones. You know, I was giving him the benefit of the doubt for a while, but it's it's getting to the point of ridiculous. I mean, that's pretty blasphemous when you're saying that Jesus would hang out at a gay bar and, you know, when you're just a total neocon Republican now, you know, can't support you anymore.